Hello Aquarius and welcome to your reading for May 10th through the 20th. Your rune is the gateway rune. When one door closes, another door opens. Your stone people card is snake medicine, letting go of the past, shedding your old skin so you can start out new. Your spirit animal is the wolf. The wolf is all about being a team player. And your sign and symbol card, look, village and community. That's another way of being a team player, being involved in your community. And remember the seven dots represent the seven directions. East, north, west, south, above, below, and within. Your first stone is feldspar, which is all about letting go of the past and bringing in creativity and innovative thinking. So you have two things here already about letting go of the past. We have the medicine bundle, allies and support. All three of these cards here, the wolf, the village, and the medicine bundle are all about working with others. Sister Moon says, look at the bigger picture. Mm -hmm. Not just yourself, but the people around you and your entire community. Spirit Foxed, trust your talents in changing times. That means there will be some disruption this week and then we have groundhog spirit time to let go okay this is your third message here about letting go of the past your second stone is onyx our little elephant protective helps with change removes stress Helps you to know yourself, heals old wounds, and is malleable, goes with the flow. Onyx is known as the warrior stone. We have dream time, unlimited vision. Let your um, dreams go wherever they want, as big as they want. Unlimited don't let your past hold you back. Autumn, release the old and rest. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four things about letting go. And here, look what you have next. Another snake. Okay, so... You're holding on to the past or bad habits from the past. And in order to move forward, you have to let those things go. It could be wounds from the past that make you doubt yourself. Or um, things, something someone said even a long time ago that made you feel that you weren't good enough. Well, let go of that. Okay, your third stone is petrified wood. Brings inner harmony and relieves stress. Helps you to be calm and composed. Helps with transformation. It is very protective. We have, oh, look at that, power place. Earth connection and empowerment that goes right with your petrified wood spend time in nature that is what's going to help you to heal and let go of the past sister moon says nothing is yet set in stone that's right you can change 
the white witch says to be the light. Don't wait for others to bring it to you. You be the light. And armadillo spirit reminds you to set healthy boundaries. Once you go through this healing process, Set the boundary that no one is ever going to treat me like that again. Or I will never allow someone to say, you know, awful things. Or, you know, every person is going to have their own. But set the boundaries. Okay, so we're going to get our bonus stone person here. Let's go with this guy. Carnelian. Oh, I love Carnelian. Warm and joyous, opens the heart, full of life force and success, and protects from personal attacks. How about that? That was just perfect. So, Letting go of that past, you're going to be stuck until you let go of the past and you set healthy boundaries for yourself. Okay, your quote is, and it goes right with this reading, what you are not changing, you are choosing. So I want to let you know that I am now on Instagram stone underscore with um people underscore wisdom <laughs> i just set it up so it's all new to me i will also be putting a paypal link in the description below if not on this reading for sure by the next one so that if you do want to purchase a painting or a pendant or a personal reading that just makes it so much easier so peace, love, and light. Until next time.